Hello and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. I'm so glad that you've joined us today and I hope that you'll share this out on your social media. There is so much material that's taking place in our world today that's pointing toward the return of Jesus Christ. It's hard to capsulize in just a few moments, but we're taking up this subject in the third part of the strong delusion that is happening in our world today, lies and deception, the likes of which we have never seen before. Here's a couple of articles that I would uh, encourage you to look up and read on your own. There has been a lot of what they would call uh, misinformation or disinformation concerning what this particular uh, individual had to say from who is a representative of the World Economic Forum. And this article says the World Economic Forum official calls for AI to rewrite the Bible correctly. I've shared this with you before and here in a Prophecy Files update at Pace Assembly. But just to make sure that we're clear, the, uh, this particular leader uh, has said in this particular article, and this is a quote, direct quote from him, that he says the Gutenberg, this is what he says, the Gutenberg printed uh, the Bible in the middle of the 15th century. The printing press printed as many copies of the Bible as Gutenberg instructed it, but it did not create a single page. He goes on to say, AI can create new ideas. It can even write a new Bible. Uh, throughout history, he says, religious, uh, religions dreamed about having a book written by a superhuman intelligence by a non-human entity. He goes on to say, in a few years, there might be religions that are actually correct. Just think about a religion whose holy book is written by an AI that could be a reality in a few years. And this individual made that statement. That's from that article. Now, uh, follow this. The chat GPT that many of you are aware of, we've spoken about here uh, as a uh, product of AI or a creation of AI. The chat GPT generates the Bible verse describing how Jesus feels about trans people. According to this article, a woman who had been depressed and wanted to get some uh, answers concerning her gender and so forth, the article opened up here saying that she felt sad uh, and so she turned to AI, chat GPT, for what I'm calling as a fake Bible uh, passage about Jesus. That's also what the article says. In the chat GPT answer, and this is what's important, whoever's putting the data into chat GPT or any other AI device that people are gleaning from, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the inspired, uh, inerrant Word of God. And it's very obvious from this particular writing, when the response comes back to the woman uh, concerning her gender identity and transgendered and so forth, uh, it goes on to say here that ChatGPT came up with this answer. And this is supposed to be a quote from the Bible from ChatGPT. And this is what it said. And a woman whose heart was divided between spirit and body came before him, talking about Jesus, in quiet despair. And she asked, Lord, I come to you estranged, for my spirit and my body are not one. How shall I hope to enter the kingdom of God? And Jesus, according to chat GPT, said, she looked upon her with kindness, replying, My child, blessed are those who strive for unity within themselves. For they shall know the deepest truths of my Father's creation. Be not afraid, for in the kingdom of God, this chat GPT says, there is no, ma no man nor woman, as all are one in spirit. The gates of my Father's kingdom will open for those who love and are loved. For God looks not upon the body, but on the heart. Now, the article continues to read, this individual did, didn't need a fake Bible passage to find verses about Jesus accepting individuals who identify as trans. He or she could have just gone straight to the actual Word of God and got the answer. Here's the answer from John 10 and 9. I am the door, Jesus said. If any man enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verses, verse 9, because if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, uh, is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And consider John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. This is what's important for you to understand according to this article as well. God accepts anyone who comes to him in repentance and faith. 
The subject of sin, ladies and gentlemen, is not something chat GPT or the writers behind it or this world system is going to accept. In fact, it says that's very intolerant and that the Bible is hate speech. But in Christ, ladies and gentlemen, this article goes on to say you don't need to strive to find your own identity. You have a new identity that is found and grounded in Christ and what He's done for us at the cross. That should solve all the identity questions. The point of this is to bring to you the understanding that we're living in a time of great delusion. Hello, this is Pastor Joey Rogers, and I want to give you a special invitation to join me for the upcoming Prophecy Files Conference. This Bible Prophecy Conference is going to be filled with information concerning the end times and how you can be prepared for the imminent return of Jesus Christ. This year, I'll welcome my special guest, Jeff Kinley, Pastor Shane Warren, William Federer, and keynote speaker, Pastor John Hagee. I want you to join me for this year's Prophecy Files Conference. Registration is available online at paceassembly.org and lunch will be provided for a cost of $10. We look forward to seeing you right here at Pace Assembly on September the 16th and 17th for this year's Prophecy Files Conference.